Hi there! In this tutorial, we will install Percona Operator for MySQL based on Percona ExtraDB Cluster on Minikube. Percona ExtraDB Cluster is an open source enterprise MySQL solution that ensures your data is always available for your applications. It also helps make your applications more secure and makes it easier to create new applications in different cloud environments. Percon Operator for MySQL based on Percon ExtraDB Cluster contains everything you need to quickly and consistently deploy and scale Percon ExtraDB Cluster instances in Kubernetes. We will do this from scratch. Let's create our AWS instance with Ubuntu 20.0. Let's call it Demo PXC Minikube. Now, choose our operating system, Ubuntu 20.0. We will select a T2 Medium instance type. I will use a key pair name that I already create. And in network settings, I will choose a security group that I already create. It is called Launch Wizard 1. In S storage, the minimum requirement for Percon Extraib cluster is 60 gigas. That's all. Let's launch the instance. Once our instance is running, we are going to copy the SSH client command to connect to this instance. In our terminal, we will use the previously double-loaded key to connect with this instance. Type yes here, and we are inside our instance. Let's update the system with sudo apt update. Now we will install Minikube. To install the latest Minikube stable release on Linux, we will use this binary. And now let's install Minikube. Now we will start it with Minikube start. Okay, we have a problem here. If we see Minikube try to initialize, but it could not pick up a default driver. We need Docker or VirtualBox or for Minikube or other alternatives for this. We will install Docker. Let's install Docker quickly from the Docker official documentation. To make Docker work without sudo, we are going to add the current user to the group of Docker. And then we are going to try it again. Docker run hello world. This is still not working. Why? Because we need to reboot. Let's reboot the system and let's wait and try to connect again. Now let's try again with Docker run hello world to see if this is working without sudo. And now let's try Minikube start. It looks like now it's working. Amazing, Minikube is working now. It's time to install Cube Control, QCTL. I will install it using the official documentation. We will finally install QCTL. Now let's check with QCTL uh, get nodes. We can see the default and unique node created by Minikube. Now let's install Percon ExtraDB cluster on Minikube. It usually takes two steps to deploy Percon ExtraDB cluster on Kubernetes. First, we are going to deploy the operator with the following command. This has all the requirements to run the custom resource. Now, let's deploy Percon ExtraDB cluster. This will install the custom resource we previously defined. Now, let's verify the cluster. It may take 10 minutes to get the cluster started. When kubectl get pxc, command finally shows the cluster status is ready. You can try to connect the cluster now. You will need to log in, and you will need a password for the admin user to access the cluster. You can use the following command to get the password of the root user. Run a container with MySQL tool and connect its console output to your terminal. Now, run MySQL tool in the Percona client command shell using the password obtained from the secret. This command will connect to the MySQL server. Finally, it's time to verify inserting data in our database, Kubernetes cluster. Let's create a new database. Let's switch to this new database, create a table called example, insert some records, in the table, retrieve a row from the table, and that's all. 
We have Percon Operator for MySQL based on Percon Strategy Cluster on Minikube. You can start to use your databases. See you in our next video.